earlier this week, my dad turned 71 years old and at the same time also received his very first 3D printer as a birthday gift. But even before the delivery man had even left our house, my dad was already in the middle of unboxing his new 3D printer uh, upside down. So based on his impatience, today we're going to talk about my top 10 quick prints all under two hours, kinda. So these are all going to be useful, uh, well depending on your definition, items that I hope that you will actually be excited about having as your first real prints if you just received a 3D printer yourself. But before we get started, I'm going to be the first one to admit that I cheated worse than a CEO at a Coldplay concert during this video since I batched printed a few of these items as well just to make this video as soon as possible for you guys. My first couple of prints actually uh, are glasses. Now these are some actually New Year's uh, 2025 glasses that I've actually just cut in order to make it look like uh, normal glasses but of course there's there's no uh, actual glass or anything so uh, the definition of usefulness might be uh, debatable in this case but in terms of actual usefulness I found another print where you can actually order some replacement lenses for Oakley Holbrook sunglasses which is like like real sunglasses that will fit into this print however this will take three hours and 48 minutes so that is not something we're gonna try in this video but my next print is actually both useful and and under two hours and that is this uh, dishwasher status or is this slider status bar uh, which you will use in order to show your your spouse your wife uh, in my case if the dishwasher is clean or dirty the original print version or the, the slicer settings is to have it split up onto three different plates but uh, in order to try to save some time uh, I just printed everything at once and it worked perfectly uh, one disclaimer is that as you can hear I used some uh, smaller than uh, ideal magnets for this. It still sticks to my dishwasher, which I was very happy about, but uh, you should definitely make sure to have the right size magnets uh, just to follow the proper instructions. But it works, although the, the magnetism, magnetism, and the, the magnet stickiness uh, is not that great, but again, still works. And speaking about things that also maybe doesn't look too great, but that definitely 100% work. That are these phone cases for Huawei P20 and Samsung Galaxy S23 FE. Uh, very specific niche cases, which is exactly why I printed these two cases. Because a friend of mine has a mom who has two phones apparently uh, and they couldn't get these specific phone cases because they're out of date models I think but thanks to my new 3d printing career and also the x1c and some tpu for ams uh, I was able to actually print these in tpu for ams uh, which also works with the a1 and the ams light actually and I have to say these turn out great uh, this is absolutely the same level of of quality that you would expect from like a very cheap phone case i don't mean that in a bad way i mean that these cases could actually be like commercialized like sold like that is so good and, and if this will be hanging in a store i would not have like questioning the quality and and this is so much better than anything that i could have ever imagined 3d printing myself this is printed in tpu for ams which is a whole other process this was the first time i had to use glue on my build plate which was a little bit scary and, and even afterwards it was a lot more uh, troublesome getting the prints off the build plate uh, compared to like PLA or PETG when you just bend the plate and it just pops off. So this was like a whole other process. Now of course you also need to dry the TPU as well. So if we include the drying time uh, this takes way longer than the two hours but in terms of phone cases I think this is just a match made in heaven. This is exactly how I would imagine a phone case uh, feel, quality and, and softness be. And speaking about matches made in heaven, if you want to try some TPU prints for the first time and you're a little bit uncertain if it's actually worth this entire process, then I highly recommend checking out the sponsor of today's video, PCB Way, which is a match made in heaven for 3D printers like myself. Since they don't only make customized PCBs, they can also help you with any kind of 3D printing needs. Just upload your STL to the website, you get to choose which specific material you want, for example, TPU or even like titanium if you feel fancy. 
correctly and then their own engineers will actually check your print just to make sure that this actually can be printed so you don't just like receive like a box full of like a spaghetti monster like a few weeks later and if you do click the link down in the description you will get five dollars off your first order from pcb way and once you have locked in that first PCB order, uh, it's time to use this combination lock from Maker World, which is one and a half hours if you only go with one specific color. Now, for the purpose of this video, uh, I thought I was going to be smart and actually color code the right combination for you so it will be easier to demonstrate. But being the non-genius that I am, uh, I color coded the complete opposite number than what I thought I did. So how this works, which I think is genius once you understand how this works, in order to pick the combination, then you can actually print out these specific uh, rings or these specific combination numbers. And how this works is that this little cutout is the one that goes inside in this lock. And then the one on the other side would be like the, the right number. It's very easy. Once you've lined everything up, you will see that this only fits in one way. Uh, if you, for example, would print out everything in one color, you can also like cheat a little bit by looking inside of this lock and you will be able to eventually figure out uh, which is the right combination without having to go through like 999 or I guess a thousand combinations and i have to say not only is this like design genius it is also like very very firm like this is all printed in like normal pla and i mean i'm gonna break it now just for the purpose of this video i just want you to see that like with a normal pla like there's, there's definitely not something that you just like easily remove and it's it's more useful than a toy but if you really know how to do it and if you like just bend it in the right direction uh, it will fall off so it's not like you know theft proof or anything like this now this next print is the biggest stretch of this entire video which i will explain a little bit later this is is not my fault but this is a box for uh, eyeglasses or sunglasses uh, and my dad since this video is dedicated to him for his birthday uh, has glasses literally everywhere in in our entire home just the fact that you can actually print your own cases to protect your glasses a little bit better i think this is absolutely amazing and you know how much i love the hinges uh, we have like the, the original uh, bamboo box right that is also like printing place this is the kind of thing that is like people buy these things and and this is a simple design i mean i cannot design this but it's a simple design so this would actually like honestly replace and real physical product that you would purchase. Now, this is two hours and 27 minutes, but if you have a 0.8 millimeter nozzle, you get it down to one hour and 53 minutes. I tried to change my nozzle, but I don't know if this is a bug in Bamboo Studio, but or there is just an update and, and someone has not made a YouTube video explaining how to change the nozzle. But uh, if anyone else can, can show me how to do this, it will be highly appreciated. So this specific case is actually printed with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle that makes this print two hours and 27 minutes, which again, I uh, very much apologize for. But regardless, I hope you can stand my cheating in this case. And speaking about something else that can stand, here we have a phone stand. And this print is so great, so minimalistic, and it also has these like it, it has the the holes here, so you can put the cables, you can actually charge it, and it has like all the cable management uh, holes or like the way to to attach the cables. I see this, and I think this cannot be too difficult to 3D print and design myself. I'm sure it is, but these are the things that makes me more interested in learning 3D design, which uh, is still a slow process. We're getting there, uh, but I'm just very, very grateful for these profiles and designs already existing on Maker World. Speaking about phones, uh, next one is also phone related, uh, which might be the most useless uh, product I have here today. This is a phone holder, works this way that you put these on your fingers like so, and then instead of having to sacrifice your pinky, you can just put your phone on this little stand. And it's supposed to work like this with your phone relaxing on this stand, giving you the, the pinky free to do whatever a pinky does. Although this hook saves your pinky, uh, it puts your thumb in the completely wrong location. So I cannot like 
stretch and reach like the, the camera icon, for example. But funny enough, I actually have a broken pinky on my, my right hand, uh, which actually makes it even easier for me to, to hold my phones. But uh, if I would use this, for example, uh, it definitely saves me a lot of strength from my broken pinky. Uh, so definitely some use cases, uh, definitely something that uh, you might be able to find useful yourself. Then we have products that you definitely don't need, but that just look so good and so crazy that you just want them. And that is this uh, AirPod pillow for your AirPods. I don't know if this should be under the useful category, but it is a stand for your, your AirPods. So I guess technically uh, you also have a very, very nice uh, MagSafe charging again with like the cable management at the bottom, which I absolutely love. And they had a whole series like this specific designer and creator had like a whole like uh, pillow or, or air series or whatever he calls it, which just makes everything look so nice. Next up is a product that is one of these products that you wish you would have had at home, but you can never find it, at least for me. And that is these clips. Now, this is a, a very big version, uh, but what is really cool with this one is that you can actually replace these specific uh, clip parts yourself, which is very easy to do. And then depending on what you want to clip, you can then choose the different clips. It's not 100% perfect. It will fall off sometimes, uh, but if you do just like balance it enough and you work with gravity in instead of against it, uh, then there is no problem at all. I don't know why you really need different clips uh, if, if one is really having a difference or if it's just like a design issue. And of course you can just adjust the size if you want a smaller or even a faster one. So uh, clips in general, and I just found like this to be like the most unique design, but uh, any kind of clips will be uh, perfect 3D printing first quick prints under two hours. Last but not least, but the maybe smallest is this mini container for a keychain. Uh, I don't know exactly what you would put into this mini container other than maybe like the pills for today if, um, if you're taking some medicine uh, or like a micro SD card if you don't want to have any other like outside protection. Again, could come in handy, could be functional. Uh, uh, I haven't really figured out a use case for myself, but it is under two hours. It says 2.3 hours, but that is for a set of three and it actually only takes one hour and six minutes to print one, which is, still took like a lot longer time than I thought. Definitely like thumbs up for me as, as long as I figure out what to, to use this for. I want to also teach you from the mistakes that I made during only this specific video in particular. And that is that I want to correct one of the previous tips and tricks that I shared with you in one of my absolute first videos here on the channel. And that is that you can batch print items, put everything together onto one plate and then print everything in the same color all together. I have not had any issues with this method until now. And that issue is that the slicer is only in this case using the slicing settings for that first item. Meaning that the first time I tried to print this specific mini container, I had automatic supports activated, which added supports in the inside of the lid, which made this entire lid useless because it was just a nightmare to remove. And this is nothing wrong with the design or the print, this is just my fault because I tried to be smart and, and batch print and just downloading it as an STL, dragging it into Bamboo Studio without actually paying attention on how this would actually slice. But remember the motto of this channel, learn from my mistakes so you don't have to do them yourself. And if you wanna continue learning from my mistakes or continue seeing my top recommended prints in different categories, please do remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And please also like this video to show me that you appreciate it so I know a little bit more what kind of videos I should make in the future. And also if you're interested don't forget to check out the PCBWay link down in the description and get five dollars off your first order from PCBWay. Thank you all so much for watching my name is Lucas. Start with Alice and like, ends with S, ends in subscribe. Please do both and see you all in the next one.